It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk brought to you today by Usual Wines. This is episode 86. I am your host, Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noel Winters Herzog. Hi, hello, that's me. Hi, Noel. We're here to talk about Happily Ever After, Season 5, Episode 14. Before we get into that, you know we always have housekeeping. Always, and you're the best housekeeper. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. We have a big housekeeping task today. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm we pretty have jacked. A live, yeah, we have a live podcast coming to you guys on Saturday, October 3rd at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live on Zoom. Oh, my God. I cannot believe it. We are so excited. Uh, we're going to be watching all of the episodes of Stacy and Darcy. Why do I always say that? It's Darcy and Stacy. It's Darcy this- and Stacy. She's going to get really mad at you. I was going to say she's going to like... <laughs> you know shank yeah. me or something yeah, she's i'm so sorry shank herself yeah we're gonna, we're gonna that is more accurate <laughs> we're going to discuss all the episodes of darcy and stacy uh with a live q a from the audience and this will not be available on your regular feed so if you want to tune into this the only way to tune into this is by getting a ticket uh all the links are in our social media that's at trixie tuzini on instagram and twitter 90 day podcast on instagram and twitter and noel is noe girl on twitter and noe underscore bear 810 on instagram uh all those things you could join our facebook group 90 day fiance uh trash talk podcast on facebook and the link will be there as well very good housekeeping tracy Thank you so much. Also, if you're uh, if you're bored, if you're like stuck in the house and bored, I don't know if you know there's a pandemic. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you if you want to listen to more of us, you can join at Patreon, Patreon dot com slash Trash Talk Podcast for over 100 episodes of just me, Noel, just Tracy and me. We also cover Unexpected from mm-hmm. T- another TLC show. Oh, man. If you don't watch Unexpected, you're a silly. Too. Yeah, you're a silly goose if you don't watch Unexpected. I'm just letting you know that. Okay, who's ready to get into it? Okay, I think that uh, I think it's about time we do it. Okay, so let's do it. Number one, let's start with Elizabeth and Andre. Andre. <laughs> All right, so uh, sh- Elizabeth tells Jen that Andre apologized on the abandoned rooftop. Okay, I mean, <laughs> listen, it was like do or die. Either he was sure. apologizing or she was dead. <laughs> right. So uh, Jen is like uh, doing her makeup and right. she's trying to fan the flames as she's doing the makeup. You know, it's just I I have to say, I know that I'm going to say a general statement here. I don't like Jen. I really the more I meet the, uh, Elizabeth's family, the better I get to know them. I don't like them. No, I also do not like. Yeah, her, I don't like them. Family. I think that they're jerks. They're like not nice people. Well, that's the thing. They're not nice. I feel like they're looking down on everyone on uh, on, on Moldova as a country. They're just being jerks. I know. Like they got a little bit of Florida money and they're like, (laughs) oh, we're better than everyone. Yeah. It's like, cool. Come on. Give me a break. You guys live in Florida. (laughs) Sorry, everyone. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a wonderful place. There are white sands somewhere, too, down there. Always trying to look at uh, (laughs) the silver lining. Look at you. The white sand lining. All right. So Marcel and his brother, they look like twins. Are they not the same person? I know. They look so much alike. It's just uh, I I think it was his brother. The brother has on a very um, interesting shirt. He has a peasant shirt on. Yes, He has on a peasant peasant shirt. Yeah. I mean, I like those peasant shirts. They weren't bad. Uh, yeah, Marcel is severely underdressed with like like a button down and some <laughs> jeans and some diesel sneakers. Right. What would you say? He's a bridge and tunnel guy. Yes. He's <laughs> going out to a bar in the city, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. So uh, the guys are getting ready together. Right. And Andre confronts Marcel about what he did. Right. Uh, which I don't think he did anything wrong. I just think he was backed into a corner. Yeah, but also, like, don't go meet up with them I without know. him. I know. I would have may- been like, no, Or maybe you call weirdo. him and be like, your in-laws just called me. <clears throat> right. Also, I, I totally, 
have a great note that you already covered, but I'm going to read it anyway. Tell me. Um, I put that his brother has on a sexy blouse. <laughs> he does. It's very cute. I don't know if it's for him, but it's a very cute right. blouse. Well, he implies, Andre implies that he still has secrets. Well, that's the thing. And he basically like, I have secrets. You guys know my secrets. We're taking them to the grave. That's it. You're never going right. to know them. <laughs> so then they body shame him. Okay, so when he got Nick, I have to tell you, I guess it's the Eastern European. He reminds me of Matt a lot. Even though he's a lot taller than Matt, when he got naked, I'm like, he has Matt's body. Like, he just reminded me so much of him. But they kept calling him fat. I'm like, um. I mean, I don't think he's fat. I think he's just got hot food in America. <laughs> <laughs> he ate more than a, a crudite. Yes, Blatter. more than a pickled fish. Yes. <laughs> hilarious we have microwaves in america that's really what did it to him <laughs> so um the outfit is cute her outfit this traditional oh, she outfit looks so cute i think that her outfit's so cute but why can't anybody just accept it why does everybody have to keep re- making remarks about well because it? then there's no show but the lipstick is too heavy for this outfit they okay i didn't understand her hair being up at first, because I was like, this is so plain. Her hair is up. She doesn't really have but any then there jewelry. Was a crown. Then she put on the crown and I liked it better. But I did like Jen's jacket. She had like a mint green, like like a trench coat length jacket. So pretty. Oh, I don't know if I noticed it. Yeah, it's really pretty because she had on like a blush dress. It looked so nice. OK, well, I'll tell you this. Her, their sister-in-law, right? Yeah. I never noticed. Like, she is beautiful. She's gorgeous. Her romper that she wears yeah. later on, gorgeous. she's so pretty. She, I, I was, like, I guess I never really look. Because you I don't know. like her. Yeah, but now yeah. I like her, and I'm like, she's like a model. Yeah, no, she's like, he really leveled up with her. Yes. The brother. I think so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I yep. also think so. All right, so Andre's outside. He's like, listen, the church is serious. And Charlie's like, why is the church serious? He's like, because it's church, Charlie. Because it's church. But it's so funny. You can't tell people like that stuff. That's like my mom when I was little. She would tell me no smiles. And then I would smile. That's like what happens. <laughs> well, the, the church is super gold and ornate. I like it. No, I like it too. It's just yeah. like very, it's, it's a lot. A lot. Yeah. It's doing the most. This church it is, is doing extra. the most. Yes. <laughs> so they are speaking Romanian in the church. But here's also, the thing. she's like, I don't know what they're saying. It's like, you're getting married. Does it matter? Does it matter? Yeah, they're like, you want to marry this guy? Okay, right. you're right. going to marry her. Okay, then the cool. brother That's holds the crown, so she doesn't oh, that mess was, up her flower crown. That was Marcel. Oh, see? You're right. They do look so much alike. They look exactly alike. So here's the other thing. There's no pews. Yeah, it's just standing room only. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. When, when she got christened, yeah, when she got baptized... I thought they were doing it because in my church, right? Yeah. The the baptismal, the water fountain, if you will. Yeah. Is in the front of the church. So you do it when you first walk in the church. There's like a little area. It's like almost like a vestibule. And that's kind of where the baptism happened. It happens before you even get to the pews. Really? Yes. So that's what I thought they were doing with the baptism. I'm like, oh, they're doing it like in the front of the church. Oh. But that is the church. Yeah, you're right. You know, I don't know. I mean, in in my church, it was on the altar that they did the baptisms. No, because our my church had the, the water fountain in the back. Yeah, that's so true. I thought maybe I didn't even realize that there was no pews. Wow. OK. Standing room only. So yeah. now the priest puts the rings on them. Now, I think that that might not be traditional. I think the priest just married each of them separately. Oh, so they're just married to themselves. Okay. No, the or priest the is priest. married to each okay. of them. Okay. Okay. Yes, and then the priest <laughs> is like, "Ha ha! <laughs> I tricked you because you didn't know what I was saying, and now me and you are married, Libby." Wink, wink. And Libby's like, "I'm a priest's wife." <laughs> so Jen looks disgusted in the church. Okay, but also, what is with these foreigners that can't cover their hair? Just cover your hair. Why can't you she do can't it? do? But she can't do it because <laughs> it can't go. Nobody can. No one can. They always let it slide down. It's like. I can't wait to go somewhere where I have to cover my head because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cover the whole thing, like just like from the, the where my hairline starts. Like yeah. A little bit before that, I'm going to start. I'm going to tortilla my head. Yeah. And then just it. not worry about it so I don't have to hold it. 
Like I can't believe it. I find like it I'm gonna so tie something around my head. Yeah, it's, it's just so, so terrible. But she's in the confessional, right? And they're interviewing her about the ceremony. She's like, oh, yeah. She scowls. Gross. It's not Protestant. Ugh. Yeah, she's she's terrible. I, you know what? Now seeing them, I understand why Andre like always had an issue with them. Now, it makes sense now. Yeah, but also don't give them the ammunition by staying home and not working. Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, he stays home and doesn't work because he's lazy, but I don't think he is as rude to them, like, for no reason now. Probably not. So yeah. now um, you were saying that. So he gets a king's crown. She gets a crown. Right. But she has the flowers on her head. So Marcel holds Marcel, it. He holds it over her head like pretend. But you think someone would have told her you got to wear the crown. Okay, you would think that, but she doesn't know. You think he's going to tell her anything, Andre? No way. He Maybe tell her she should have asked her sister-in-law. I don't know. I just think that's so ride or die that he held that for her. He, like, walked was in back of her. The whole time. Yeah, it was the really whole time. Cute. It was like he was holding her train. It was very yes. cute. <laughs> he was the flower girl. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was so cute. So now it's the reception. There's an outfit change. Her dress is pretty, but remember when she was getting this dress and she was like, it needs to be totally covered. This is like a very religious thing. And it's like, okay, well, I um, actually wouldn't wear that because it's inappropriate. Like, I wouldn't just wear like that. In, like I wouldn't wear that on a Friday night. Like that right, kind I wouldn't of wear that cut. to dinner. Right. <laughs> Like non-religious dinner. Her, here's what bothered me about her dress. Her sleeves were baggy. Yes. And yep. that is a lot of those dresses. If they don't like fit you like a glove, they don't fit you. That's why I didn't get a long sleeve dress. Because they were all big on my I arms. Know. Yep. I know. Mm -hmm. Well, you were so, there. <laughs> I was there. So now we go to an audition for Dancing with the Stars. Okay, but that was, I have to tell you, if weddings were like that, I would go to a lot more weddings. I think that was so Way much more. fun. That was super fun because it didn't rely on you to sit there and talk to anyone at the table. Yeah, it was like just entertainment. Yes. Um, now, Charlie, mm -hmm. <laughs> he is open mouth swallowing champagne. Okay, he is the drunk he is all the way drunk he's opening his mouth mm -hmm. and he's tossing back champagne <laughs> while he while he holds the baby yeah no he seems great <laughs> all right well now the the dancing with the stars contestants start mm -hmm. break dancing um and jen is drunk because she is going to she has a glass of champagne mm -hmm. in her hand and she goes to the baby with no glass of champagne and goes cheers cheers <laughs> like she's teaching the baby how to drink well, I feel like that was the only person she wanted to talk to there, honestly. True. Charlie is mangled. Charlie is obnoxious. So now there's the bread dance. Which, listen, I feel that on a personal level. I could see you attacking Matt for the rest of the loaf. Yeah, I would. I would fight him for the loaf. <laughs> and you'd be like, ah, I won. <laughs> right. It would be like the Hunger Games. And I hope this is gluten free. <laughs> 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 so this is what Charlie says at the table. He says, and this is a quote. Mm -hmm. He's royalty in Moldova, but he's a bitch ass in America. But it's also like, Charlie, shut up. This isn't the time. Even Jen and Chuck are like, all right, right. Charlie, enough. enough. So now uh, Charlie said that he didn't do this for any other kid. So now he's in the confessional interview. Right. Mm -hmm. Can you do an impression of Charlie? All right. Yes. I'm going to try. My dad had like seven kids. But why? Okay. Why? Just for Liz Andre. <laughs> it's like. Why are you giving so it to him? <laughs> why are you giving it to him? Why not me? I'm here. I am a. <laughs> so, so this guy is married. Like someone married. This okay, guy? that's what I want to know. Is he married? Because I think the sister-in-law, the breastfeeding sister-in-law uh -huh. in America, is his wife. Oh, oh, well, that changes things. I didn't know. Like that. someone married him on purpose. So, but I, I thought Charlie paid for everyone's wedding. Didn't he say he he paid? I paid for your brother and sister's wedding. I'll pay for yours. Doesn't that happen? That is correct. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now uh, 
Andre's dad, who is the most lovely man in the hallway world, I gives him toast and then goes, here you go. Here's like kind of a lot of money. So I'm going to put this in an envelope He's and so make sure cute. that everyone sees it. Mm-hmm. I loved it. Um, so you know that that had imagine you open it. And it's like 50 bucks. Listen, who knows what they have? It was still really cute. I know, but I would be like. Well, how much is in here? If it was 50 bucks, like just put the card in the box. You don't have to make a speech and draw attention to the card. About the how much it is. Because now everyone wants to know what's in the envelope. Right. Like right. I can't stop thinking about it. I would have <laughs> never thought about that before. <laughs> so now Chuck is like, OK, um, the other family wants to make a toast. Right. And it's like, how about it's just like, I? How about just I want to make a toast? Right. <clears throat> OK, so Chuck makes a regular toast that I get really bored and don't even listen to. I mean, it was nice. It was like, we love you, Andre, at the end. Cool. Okay, great. Then Charlie's like, me, now me, (laughs) now me, now (laughs) me. But here's the thing. Chuck could have fought that microphone away from him. I would have hit him with the microphone. I would have tackled him or peed on him, like done something to distract (laughs) him or like, um, like. Give him champagne. Here you go. I would have like pinched him to distract him. So he like dropped the mic. Yes, you're so right, though. It's like, what do you what? Don't give it to him. How about that? How about you throw it on? Like when you see him trying to take it, throw it. Yeah, you're right. Throw it out the window. Yep. Just throw it. It doesn't exist. Run anymore. away. Run into the bathroom. Lock yourself <laughs> in a bathroom stall. Throw it in the flower like, vase. Do something. Yeah. Break it. Yep. That's true. Set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so he grabs the mic and he says, and this is like kind of a quote, kind of because there was more right. than this. Um, this is a quote. You need to stop paying for all your BS. You gotta, Get you your sit on the shit couch. together. Don't ask my daddy for anything. Good job. Shut up. Shut up. So then um, it was funny because he was so drunk. Yeah. That everyone was kind of like, Okay, Charlie. But that's the thing. Everyone just cheered. Like, okay, you cool, did the- Charlie. Well, the good thing is, is that no one speaks English. That's really. exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, they probably don't even know what he's saying. Even the people that speak English. I mean, think about it. Like, even in even a language that you understand, like, it has to be spoken um, so specifically and sure. so properly to be understood that, like, whatever language he was speaking. Right. I guess drunk American. That is very hard to understand. Right. I think he was speaking drunk Florida. Drunk, broken Florida. <laughs> <laughs> That's he what he was, was speaking, speaking. Drunk, broken Florida. <laughs> um, that it was like, yeah, whatever. You could. And then they were like, and when Elizabeth started saying like, oh, yay. OK, good. Like, just ignore him. Like, he's special. I was going to say she process. was acting like that was her kid. Like, yay. He said a word. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> right. Uh huh. Um, that like everyone else started cheering because I think the fact that she didn't react made the Moldovians not react. Good for her, though. I'm so glad she didn't react. Me too. She was like, OK, Charlie, um, you literally just showed everyone here why you're wrong. Yeah. But and why you. you're trash. Uh huh. And then Andre takes him outside. Now, I don't think he's going to fight him, but I wish he would. OK. He deserves a punch in the face. I would not get okay. mad if Andre did it. If he does a nice square punch in the face, yeah, some kind of damage to his nose, yes, or something a that will always, <laughs> yeah, something that will always remind him, yeah, that you ruined. Well, not ruined. You tried to ruin your sister's wedding, right? Like, but it's not even ruining the, the wedding. He was he's just a rude person. And he's just being a BFB. He's being a baby. It's really all there is to it. Oh God, that guy is the worst. Yeah. Now, something that I noticed about him, yeah. He when he was drinking the champagne, he wasn't even really tasting it. No, he was just chugging it. And I'm wondering if it just wasn't the best tasting champagne. Probably not. You know, I have a suggestion. Uh, usual wines is just a beautiful, delicious wine. And they come in the cutest bottles. Usual wines are made from world class AVAs in California like Napa, Sonoma, Santa Barbara and are made with minimal intervention, zero sugar and zero additives. The wines are low carb and they have zero grams of sugar in a well. Yeah, but don't grapes have sugar? Yes, absolutely. 
to clarify, all usual wines are produced using natural, sustainable grapes harvested every fall, right? So these grapes, mm-hmm. they're picked at optimal ripeness to ensure that all the sugar will be fermented completely until the wines are dry with no residual sugar. So all that's left over is delicious, clean wine. The process of fermentation happens when natural yeast eat the naturally occurring sugars in the grapes. So in goes the sugar, out comes the alcohol. It's just so delicious, right? It comes in a lot of varieties. There's Mm -hmm. sparkling white. There's rosé. There's a red. Oh, my God. These wines are delicious. They're stylish. They're low carb. They have zero grams of sugar. And you can check out their website at www.usualwines.com. And you could use our discount code Trash Talk for $8 off your first order and try your first glass on us. Awesome. So that's uh, usualwines.com. Discount code Trash Talk for $8 off. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, Tracy. You like that? Yeah, it was good. Cheers. Cheers. Let's talk about uh, Kehlani and Asuelo. Did you feel underwhelmed yes i was disappointed Mm -hmm. in low yeah okay that's the thing so i'm sitting here thinking and i'm like i always feel like i'm ready for low to like pop off and he just never does yes i feel like low would more like cut a finger off of someone and be like now you have to look at that for the rest of your life right now you have to live with this forever meanwhile this he didn't do anything his wife was more you know yes mean than he was All right, so Asuelo's family is coming to Utah, which is like, you were just in Washington. Why are we doing this so soon? Yeah, no, give it a rest, guys. (laughs) Also, wasn't it so much easier to get them down to Utah than to get them up to Washington? To lug the kids there and stuff, yeah. Jeez, so (laughs) his sister Rosa, right? That's the other sister? Rosa, yep. Rosa's there, and they're driving through Red Rock, and his sister's giving a thumbs up. She's so cute. She's adorable, like, but why are they, I don't know, like, they don't Almost like, know why sign is she language, there? like, no, like, why can't she communicate, like, why has no one uh, educated themselves on American Sign Language, like, why, how, what kind of life is this? Well, that's the thing, that's why I was thinking, like, why is she there, I feel like nobody even involves her, communicates with her, anyway, they don't let her express herself, and even if Nothing. she did, they don't know what she's saying. Oh my god, that's so sad, I hope that there's more to this story that we don't Me know. Me too. Mm-hmm. So uh, she asked So <laughs> the mother asks Because mm-hmm. the red rock is like very It's a desert so there's no vegetation on the rocks Right And she goes oh um, Did uh, did you guys clean the rocks Like are these cleaned And mm-hmm. he's like yeah they clean because they knew you were coming That was cute though That was fun Yes So he confronts his mom and sister in the car And he tells them to apologize And now his mom is shaming him for putting his wife first and they want them to divorce. I mean, but they go right for it. Like, not like you should try to do things with your wife or whatever. Try to talk to her. It's like you should divorce or you should leave her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he thinks the visit was a bad idea. So now both families are meeting. And he tells his family, again, they should apologize. Right. And Tammy's like, well, I'm just speaking the truth. I have nothing to apologize for. I do think you should get a divorce. Yeah, I mean, he listen, he's insane if he thinks Tammy's ever going to apologize. Yeah, so now they go to the Black Bear Diner, mm-hmm. and I'll tell you, Kehlani's mom, like, yeah. really goes from washing the dishes right to a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. I do. I, I do, really too. Like There's no her. outfit change. There's no prep. She goes right with the same outfit right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, though. Um, she does that. That I guess it's a quick getting ready. She has a gnarly uh, sore on her lip, though. Not nice. I didn't even realize. Yeah, it. not a good. So time. <laughs> the his mom greets everyone nicely. Right. Uh huh. And I'm like, oh, OK. Yeah, she's she's very hot and cold. I don't understand her. Why is she so nice to everyone? But then telling her son to get divorced. I don't know. But she has that high pitched sing song vi- voice. Yeah, like she Asuelo. does. Uh huh. She's like, I am here in America and I need the money. I want one thousand dollars. So Lowe said that he sees that uh, Asuelo is stuck in the middle. So I understand that. But like, yeah. come on, more, more. Right. So Tammy's like, I'm not apologizing because I didn't dis- disrespect Kehlani. I just think that she's the worst and she should die. I didn't 
I don't think that's disrespectful. Right. Like I didn't I just do said, anything disrespectful. I just said her kids are trash. And then, you know, I, um, I that said that she's she a loser. was desperate and she married Asuelu. Like she trapped him. She had trapped babies, you know, like that's not disrespectful. So his mom is like, my son is so weak. Yeah. But that's what I mean. Like, I don't get it. You're so happy to see everybody. But now your son is weak. And then they blame Kehlani for um, not giving the money. Okay. So here's the side note of this. Okay. Tell me. All right. So now his mom's like, I need money. Uh-huh. I need money. God, you do a really good impression of her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but w- wait, it's like, do you need the money or are we sending it to Samoa? Okay. I think it's really for her. I don't understand. Is she living here or is she living in Samoa? No, she lives here. See, I didn't know if she was just visiting or not. No, she lives here. So then why did they even bring up Samoa? I want money. Money. <laughs> okay, but it's, like I said, it's weird. So I was just thinking, like, unrelated, yeah. I was going to donate um, some money, um, you know, just like. To be nice, I was going to donate some money to um, St. Jude's Children's Hospital, Noel. But what you could do is you could um, just make the check out to me. Okay. Uh, you know, I would like to do something nice. So maybe like 1500 Okay. And then what happens? And then I'll give it to them. Oh, but I shouldn't make the check out to them. No, no. It's just, you know what it is? It's easier for me to send it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that that's was totally exactly un- what this is. But that was unrelated, so okay. I don't want to talk about that okay, anymore. Good. Okay, thank okay. you. <laughs> um, so her mom is putting Tammy in her place. Okay, but Tammy, though, she is just, at the end of the day, she's a miserable bitch. She's just not Oh, nice. I know. And that's why the mother was, like, very nice even when she was yeah, young. Yeah, she was. She was like you. Like, she killed him with kindness. Because you, yes. I've learned that from you. Oh, God, Mm -hmm. I love that. I really have. I've learned that from you. And you know what? It's so much better than just screaming at somebody. Oh, yeah, because that makes them it makes them really question themselves. That's what you really want to do. You want to make sure that at the end of an argument, whoever you're arguing with is really not feeling okay about themselves, really questioning why they're even here. Like, why are they on this earth? Yes. (laughs) Like, just as long as they can't sleep at night, you're good. Okay, well, unfortunately, though, I don't think Tammy gets it. She doesn't. So Asuelo's like, I'm not going to give you anything. And this is what his mom says. Okay, tell me. She's like, oh, my Asuelo. (laughs) I hate you. I hate you. And I love you so much. I like that she's like, I don't want to lose you from my hands. I'm like, interesting. But I also hate you. Right. I hate your kids. And you're I don't weak. care if they starve. And then she apologizes. I mean, that is a weird apology. Right. Because it's a bullshit apology and nothing is going to change. Okay. So now this is what I'm thinking. Do you think that she thinks she's going to get money now because she apologized? Yes. Yep. Okay. Same. I so love Tammy- how when the mother came at Tammy, Lo kind of was just like giggly. Mm-hmm. And he was like, no need to get crazy, ladies. It was so funny. He was like smirking. Yeah, that was pretty good. So she apologizes. Tammy will not ap- apologize. And Tammy's like, no, I actually want you to get a divorce. And it's like, shut up, Tammy. Just shut up. And then we realize in the grand scheme of things like that Tammy doesn't matter. Tammy doesn't matter. She doesn't live there. Nobody listens to her. Like, shut no, up, No, she Tammy. does live here. That's what I'm, these sisters and mother live here. Well, okay. Tammy lives in Salt Lake City, right? Yes. Yes. Is it, oh, yeah. They live in Utah. That's right. She is really close to them. Yeah. It's very, very but strange. But still, she doesn't matter. <laughs> no. She doesn't matter at all. And we're like, oh, okay. You want us to get divorced? Okay. We got divorced. Okay. Right. Ooh, boogie oogie. How about you get divorced? I mean, I'm sure she's... Where's her husband? I don't know. I thought... I she's thought probably maybe, like, I did get divorced. But aren't those... Are the kids hers? I don't know. Remember, there was like so many kids in the house. Yeah, but it doesn't mean she's married. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Noel. Yeah. Do you know that you could have kids without being married? No. No. When a man loves a woman. Okay. I'm tell me what happens. Oh, okay. Even, I thought I was getting, a, I thought I was getting a lesson guys. <laughs> that's not really how it happens. Um, I can't really tell you what to do. Uh huh. 
But if you really need some good life advice, I'll tell you that um, online counseling is the best way to get it. And right now, Kehlani and Asuelo are going through such a hard time that they would benefit from some counseling. They, they would do great with some counseling and they can do it from anywhere. They could do it from the big red rock. If they do it uh, on BetterHelp Online Counseling, they can do uh, it from literally <laughs> anywhere. The service is available for clients worldwide. There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many, many areas. So you can get something like very specific. Mm -hmm. This is not self-help. This is real counseling, guys. Anything you share is confidential. It's convenient. It's professional. It's affordable. So many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting mm -hmm. BetterHelp.com slash fiance. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash fiance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, listen, BetterHelp is awesome. It has definitely helped us. And that's just how I feel. Well, someone who definitely <laughs> needs some help. Let's talk about Larissa. Okay, this was disturbing and not because of like seeing the surgery or anything. It was the afterwards. I did. I will get into that, but I just didn't know they how okay, intense listen, it was. They tried to scare you, though. Okay. So she's super worried about it. And mm -hmm. Erica, uh, Erica, uh, oh, that key? is actually yeah. is kind of fitting. Yeah. Erica impersonates her. Mm -hmm. Not good, he, though, either. <laughs> he's super excited because he said that he's upgrading. Okay, well, here's the thing. I can't believe what her face looks like. I can't believe it. Like bad? Yeah, so like they're in the car. It has nothing to do with makeup. I think about when we first met Larissa and just how different she looks. She oh, looks yeah. very not well. <laughs> okay, but I will tell you this. She still looks better without makeup. Oh, no, she looks so much better without makeup. But it's like, but why does she look like that? Oh, well, because it's fillers. Okay, it's not good. <laughs> no. Well, he said that this is an investment into our future. Um, I, first of all, I don't think he knows what an investment is. Right. Second of all, um, this is why she's getting them done. Right. Because you think that her getting boobs is a future investment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now this is a quote from Eric. E. Ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. In my entire life, I never thought I would have a girlfriend. I mean, listen, he's uh, where, not where I'm taking. Sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> where I'm taking her to surgery and I'm going to be caring for her afterwards. <laughs> um, the first part of that quote Correct. is absolutely true. I also never in my life looked at you and thought you would have a female girlfriend. Definitely never thought you would have a girlfriend. Eric still don't think you have a girlfriend, Eric. <laughs> true. All right, so now Dr. Creepola is there. and Dr. He said Creepola? It's a yes, he's there. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's a three-hour surgery, and she's afraid that she's going to wake up during anesthesia. Okay, I have thought about that before, too. Even just, like, getting a tooth pulled. I'm like, what if I got put to sleep and woke up during it? Nah. <laughs> I don't know. They put you back to sleep. They knock you out. They hit you in the head with a hammer. That's so scary. I don't know. That's, like, real being put under, though. Yeah. So they're <laughs> making her nipples smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, okay. I, I didn't, I closed my eyes the whole time, the whole time. You didn't really see anything. So now okay. Eric, is super worried and mm -hmm. Dr. Sexy comes out and he <laughs> said that Eric, he could see him in 20 minutes. Right. Mm -hmm. And Eric, is like pacing. He's bugging out. Also, anybody who wears khakis like that, like for sport, there's something wrong with them. Listen, it's boring. You can only swipe on grinder for so long <laughs> before you're bored. <laughs> 40, 45 minutes later, right. she is in the recovery room mm -hmm. and they try to make it seem like she's not breathing. OK, see, this isn't what scared me because it's like, isn't she just out of it? That's why yeah, it's like, of hey, course. just wake up. We need you to like, don't you have to like go to the bathroom before you leave or something? Is that real? No. <laughs> oh, OK. I don't know. Maybe that's after a C-section. I don't know. That's after birth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now one one side note. OK. Larissa is 33 years old. Okay. Did they say that here? Because I must have missed yeah. that because that's not true. Yep. Okay. She is not 33 years old. There's zero chance. Have you yes. looked at her? She's mm -mm. 33. Mm -mm. Yep. Not in my <laughs> mind. Mm -mm. Yep. So Eric is like totally lost in the sauce at this point. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> this is the first surgery I've ever attended. Um, <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Eric, but you were just in the waiting room. 
Yeah, like you, it's not like you sat there and watched them put the implants in. You've never attended a surgery. No, you've never attended surgery. This is probably also not the first waiting room you've been in, Eric. <laughs> so he's crying. And I think he's probably hangry because he's been in this waiting room for three hours. Like, why couldn't you have gone to go get something to eat? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Or like brought a book with you. Like, you know, you're going to be go to the mall. for a while. Go to the mall. Go get a drink. Go hang out. Come back. I don't know, do something. <laughs> so she's in a lot of pain. That, so they, they pour her into the wheelchair mm-hmm. and he's like nervous laughing. OK, I think he just like does not know what to do. He wasn't expecting her, I think, to be so like doped up. He thought that she was going to walk out of surgery like nothing happened. He thought she was going to walk out like, you ready to have sex now? You know what I mean? Like, I got these torpedoes. Uh-huh. I got you want to touch them. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so he's like, all right, come on. Let's get you a smoothie. Um, What kind of smoothie are they going to get? That's her? what I wanted to know. I'm like, I think that's a great choice for a smoothie. I know. I'm like, can we go for a smoothie? Uh-huh. So he's just talking to her. And she's like, please, Eric. Shut up. Yep. I need you to be quiet. So he didn't think that she's going to be like this. So now he calls as soon as they get home. He's like, can I give her a pain pill? Um, yeah. Did listen, you ask before? Know. He also, aren't you reading the instructions you have laid out on her? They're on top of her. <laughs> these instructions <laughs> read them. Okay. And then at the end of the scene, what is he feeding her? Vodka sauce? Yeah. That's exactly what I was wondering. I was like, why is this pink soup? It's pink soup. What is that? Is he feeding her vodka sauce? Yes. I mean, I, maybe it was cream of tomato, but it's like that is not what I would want. Listen, if or maybe he made her a smoothie bowl. <laughs> That's OK. That actually yeah. could be possible. right. I don't know. Maybe it's got to be because nobody could ever feed me vodka sauce by spoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Imagine she's like, I don't know. My stomach hurts. And he's like, it's probably the pills or maybe it was the gallon of vodka sauce that i poured down your throat gross gross all right let's talk about mike and angie because that's how close i am with them oh yeah mike i know i when i wrote a note i wrote mike says tracy (laughs) so she's got her blue bra on and he said that she looks beautiful sexy Mm -hmm. young and adorable Okay, I mean, th- those weren't fed to him, those words. Not at all. No, not at, mm-hmm. not at all. No. So now the priest, they get up to the front, and the priest goes, unveil her, please. <laughs> I liked it. He was very forceful. I know, but also, would you have died if they unveiled her, and everyone was like, ooh! <laughs> like, everyone gasped. What is that? <laughs> yeah. So now the priest says, um, you know, do you take Michael to love and obey? Right. And she's like, obey! Oh, God. Obey! And then she's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. Once she started that, I'm like, here we go, Angela. All right. All the, this was a total American ceremony. Yeah. I, it didn't seem it. Didn't he say that the ceremony was going to be traditional? And it wasn't. It's not. No. Well, I mean, it was a traditional American ceremony. So now the, afterwards they put on the red dress. Right. And the groom showers the bride with money. He's like, that is the tradition. So they got Monopoly money. Uh huh. Or they got Angela's money because he doesn't have right? any money. And then he put on his Burger King crown. Okay, but here's the thing. She still has on this blue bra. She's still no. making an off the shoulder dress with the I straps. told you that I she's know. making it. Here's the I thing. told you I didn't she's realize making it. it with the wedding dress. The red dress, I completely realized it. Yes, both mm-hmm. of them she pretended yes. they were off the shoulder she dresses. She made that an off the shoulder dress. Why are you doing this? Why? I don't know. But um the best part about this wedding was the mm-hmm. cake topper. Okay, I okay. I had a little trouble with my app. I did not see the cake topper. Oh, okay. Well, it is just a black man and woman. A black woman, too? It is a black man and woman. Oh, okay. Good. That All right. Correct. I actually wanted to know about the cake because later on they talked about it. And I'm like, I wish I could have known about okay. this cake. So the cake was like maybe four tiers, big cake. Ooh. And it was half American flag, half Nigerian flag. Oh, that's kind of cool. So she wore all of her chains to the wedding. There was no wedding. Uh, she wore tangled Forever 21 chains to Listen, her wedding. There was no wedding necklace. She had a chain for every grandkid on. That's what she did. And, th- and then she tangled them all together. Mm-hmm. She whittled them. <laughs> oh, my God. So and then so now it's the day after and she has a long fake ponytail. Oh, God. Listen, she walked out like that. And I was thinking, like, she reminds me of all these old women that used to shop in my old neighborhood. I'd be in the store and I'd be surrounded by, like, these faux ponytails. (laughs) It's so funny. So then she says to Sissy, 
mm-hmm. aka Jojo. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Guess who got an orgasm last night? First one since I've been here. Gross. Gross. All the way gross. Stop. Don't talk. Bleach in my ears. And also, she's mm-hmm. like, you saw that cake? They tore that cake up. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they, she was like, like almost like they attacked it. It's like, well, what, okay, what happened Okay, well, guess to what? It? I'll tell you what happened to it. You spent all of your money on fake flowers and you cut the food budget. And ev- the only thing anyone had to eat was cake. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> well, my sissy's going back home. And sissy said that she was worried that they weren't having sex. So this is the thing. Like, yeah. I think that they're just... Tell, feeding them lines to try to make Michael uncomfortable. Yeah, I think so too because Michael looks super spooked when she said that. Okay, but also, who? what are you even talking about? So then mm-hmm. she explains that she wore see-through lingerie, lingerie <laughs> and then she talks about his weenus. Yeah, gross. What are you doing? I, I don't know. I felt like she I was She said that it, it salutes her when she's he sees her boobs. It's like, why are you doing this to me? Why? I know. It's almost like I wish Michael didn't speak English so he didn't know. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. I know. I felt bad for him. I had secondhand embarrassment for him. Big time. So they meet a lawyer next for the spousal visa. Mm -hmm. And then Sissy's like, oh, well, are you going to stay with Angela after the green card or are you going to leave her as soon as you get it? Okay. We all know by now this isn't about the green card. He's completely Okay. But also, even if he was gonna, you think he's like, oh, yeah, this was all a scam. Why? Right. Duh. Of course, I'm going to tell you the truth. So now they go out to eat with their oh oh sh- and then Jojo says Michael has trouble focusing on her and listening to her. Okay, that was my biggest question mark here. He has trouble focusing on her. His life revolves around her. Well, this I think these are things that Angela told her to say. Yeah, I think so too. Mm-hmm. So they go out to eat with their crowns on, and he said that he wants to work in the U.S. because this is a quote: "I have this Nigerian hustling spirit in me." Okay, but why? So now she's saying your balls have to drop in America. So he doesn't have to work in Nigeria, but he has to work in America. Um, I don't get it. Um, Why? Because she could see him, what he's doing there? Okay. She can keep tabs on him. Yeah. Um, So, but it's just so funny. He has this Nigerian hustling spirit. That's very choice words, Mm -hmm. but okay. Yes, Mm -hmm. Michael, we know you do. That's how you got here. That's how you got there to begin with. You hustled. (laughs) Well... This is uh, what Angela says. They're going to be leaving the restaurant. She said, I didn't wear no underwear. We could play on the way home. Okay, because she says that he has something to do. Now, I don't want to say in too many words what that is, but it involves him doing something to her that makes me want to die. Same. Um, (laughs) And then she says, I just hope Michael's ready for this and points down and then says purr. I'm hoping she means feet. I hope she means the cat she adopted in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> That's what and I hope. And they're going to like give it a litter box. She said that she got whipped cream though. I don't think cats like whipped cream Well, very then much. she said, <laughs> I got some whipped cream for it. Get ready. No, I don't want to get ready. I don't want to get ready. No, dead puppies, dead puppies, dead puppies. I don't want to get ready. <laughs> well, now don't worry because... Definitely dead puppies. Skyla called. Mom is unresponsible. Plot <laughs> twist. I bet Michael was like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you. I believe there is a God. I believe. <laughs> I've been praying that mom's been unresponsive <laughs> for two days now. You saved me from this adopted cat. How awkward is that when you're covered in whipped cream and then your, your daughter calls and you're on FaceTime with all your grandkids? And they're like, Mima's dead. And you have a whipped cream crotch. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. So mom's unresponsive. She's in ICU. Uh, and Angela's trying to get home. But is she? But that's what I mean. Like, wouldn't you go to the airport and be like, I'll take no. any flight to America? I don't know if there is that many, fl- you know? Well, it's like, couldn't you just like fly to Florida, rent a car? I don't know. In that type of an emergency, I don't know. I don't know either. So now yeah. uh, let's move on to Paul and Carini. They're going back to Brazil. He's yelling some things in his butt. Yeah, I don't know. So it's all the way down to his crack. Gross. Shut up. He's sitting on some kind of luggage thing. Mm-hmm. So he said that they. he's like, well, that was fun, right? America. It's like, but what are you talking about? I don't know. This whole situation is very strange to me. So he's calling his mom. His mom was like, I can't bring you to the airport because <laughs> I have a doctor's appointment. 
Sure, Jan. Sure you do. Uh Uh-huh. No, it's because you don't want to give him money. That's that's what everything is about. You don't want to give him money. So his mom came to say goodbye, and Mm -hmm. he picks her up and twirls her in the air. (laughs) And she's like, hey, if I can't kiss you on the mouth, you can't do that to me. She's basically like, I I love that she's like, no, Paul, it's not necessary. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not necessary. He's like, remember when she's like, remember when I dropped you at the hotel and I wasn't allowed to kiss you on the mouth? Right. Well, you're not allowed to break my spine. Right. Now you're not allowed to twirl me in the (laughs) airport. (laughs) Second guessing Uh. that, huh? (laughs) So why can't so here's the thing like they're going to Brazil. Yeah, but he's not going to work there either. But that's what I mean. Like, why is he even going with them? If I was her, I'd be like, you stay in America. You get money. You get save a job. Up, I'll come back once you have money. Right. Wink, saved. wink. Yep. And maybe I will. Maybe because maybe if you actually had it. Listen, if he actually had a job and he saved money and got them like a nice place, why wouldn't she come back? You know, okay, I'm going to explain what's happening. Something that you guys might not notice. Okay. Um, the German shepherds are actually staying back in America and they've decided that they're going to get jobs because uh-huh. they need to support themselves. And they said that um, Karini and Pierre can live in the cage with them uh, and mm. they'd be happy to have them. Okay, and they see, said, you really know, nice. Yeah, they were like, you know, we're going to have fresh bowls of water for you. Mm-hmm. Yep. You have nice dry meal for you. <laughs> Some pellets. Mm-hmm. So he's like, you know, I'm really gonna miss the clean water from the tap here in America. And and what he's gonna miss the being able to flush the toilet. Cool. Okay. I mean, listen, don't go. But that's the thing. Like nobody's forcing you to go. In fact, I think she would rather you not go. Yes. One hundred percent. Yeah, I would rather. Let's talk you about not go. Let's talk about Colt. Uh, okay, let's just breeze through Colt. Okay, so Colt, first of all, his opening music. It's the best. I want to be friends with whoever this music person is on the show. Okay, well, the the lyrics to the opening song. Oh, tell me. In the spotlight, I act like an animal. <laughs> Savage Colty. He's trying to lose weight. He pukes. They show him mm-hmm. puking. Maybe 12 times. Okay, but that's the thing. In all the coming attractions, that was like all we saw. Why are you doing yes. this? Yeah, it's stupid. Why? So Steve comes to the park. He said that Colt has self-destructive behavior. No. Okay, but here's the thing. Like, Steve is hired, right? Am I right? For sure. Okay. He's like a hired, quote-unquote, health coach. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now he said... Vanessa moved out and quote, I'm all alone again. Okay. Wait a minute. I thought mm. Vanessa was your mom's friend. Right. And she was going through a divorce. What? What? Yeah. Maybe Vanessa moved out because you're creepy and gross. I wouldn't stop flashing her in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So he, Steve is asking him like, what do you, how do you cope with stress? And he's like, I drink. Now I will tell you this. Shut up. Right. I always think that everyone has an alcohol problem. I know. I think that Colt is trying to make people think he has an alcohol he problem. He really wants to have an alcohol problem, but meanwhile, Debbie's the one with the alcohol problem. I know. <laughs> so Steve's like, listen, instead of drinking, I'm going to show you this crazy secret technique of meditation. All right. <laughs> so just, um, you just close your eyes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Count to 10. Go ahead, Noel. Okay. One, two, Slower. three. One. Two. Okay, how do you feel three. now? That's it. Yeah, oh, oh, I'm I'm magically cured. I don't even need the drink. Oh my god, that was easy. If you could just do that every day, you could be a better person. Right. It's like, what are you talking about? That's why I say he's a health coach. Colt has a bang. Yeah, Colt does have a bang. He does have he a bang. He has this beautiful sweeping bang <laughs> across his forehead. And he was telling Steve he started seeing just three to four months after the divorce. So I would say one month. Okay, I didn't even realize that it was that soon after the divorce. Yeah, and then they agree that his mom is too involved. Um, okay. Normally, mm-hmm. I would say yes, but, like, mm. he's not having healthy relationships and then his mom's ruining them. No, but that's the thing. That's what they're trying to insinuate. Like, his relationships are going south because of Deb. I don't think that's true. I think she sees this is a bad situation, and I'm just going to add to it. Yeah, and also... Um, he runs like Paul. They're playing football. Yeah, listen, he there's something wrong with him, clearly. Yep. Yeah, there's something majorly wrong with this guy. 
I hope you really enjoyed that episode of 90 Day Fiance, and I hope that you purchased tickets for our live podcast. That's 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk Live on Zoom. So that's from the comfort of your own home. We're going to be talking about the show Darcy and Stacy. We're going to watch all of the episodes and recap them on our live podcast. This is not going to be available in your regular feed. It's going to be amazing. That's Saturday, October 3rd at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a hoot and a holler. You can make sure to purchase tickets by getting the link out of any of our social medias. Go to 90 Day Fiance Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. You could follow me at Trixie Tuzini, T-R-I-X-I-E-T-U-Z-Z-I-N-I on Instagram and Twitter. And you could follow Noelle at Noe Girl on Twitter and Noe underscore Bear 810 on Instagram. And we'll see you next week. Bye.